Mathematical models often have uncertainty built into the predictions. So for example, a machine learned model, such as Gaussian process regression, may have a prediction, but also an uncertainty region where that prediction is expected to lie. Now, one of the things that we might want to do in optimization is use that uncertainty information to help us give a more complete answer. Instead of just minimizing the expected value, perhaps we want to minimize an expected value plus some weighted sum of the uncertainty to give the most certain solution in some sense between this prediction and the uncertainty. So let's just talk a little bit about some data that we might have. Uh, now here's a source function, so that would be the true function, and we have these orange dots that represent measurements. Now there's some measurement inaccuracy, as you can see here by the errors in the measurement, which is typical with taking measurements of a process. Now suppose you have some additional measurements, maybe in this region, and maybe the accuracy is a little bit higher in that region versus other regions. Now we want to use Gaussian process regression and the uncertainty information that comes with that to help us in the optimization to find the expected optimum right there, but also maybe this is our most certain region right here, and maybe some weighted sum between the two of those. So here's our Gaussian process regression model, and you can see the trained model is here, the green dashed line, and that fits very well, especially in this region where there are more data points. But then as you go to the end, you can see that it becomes less certain. This bound becomes just a little bit wider at the ends where there's less data, okay, in this region as well. So what we want to do is create an optimization that helps us find not just the minimum to this dashed line right here, okay, and that would be the red square. Okay, that would be the minimum for our surrogate model. So this is our surrogate that is a Gaussian process regression model. It's a non-parametric model that also includes uncertainty information. But we also have a measure of the uncertainty, and that's shown right here below. Okay, and if we look at the minimum of that, it's right here. That correlates to this point on the function. Now, let's say we wanted to have a prediction that's not only the minimum here, but is also uh, minimizing the uncertainty. So trying to find a prediction that has more data associated with it. So maybe we take the weighted sum. So may I say 50 times that value, okay, plus one times this value, and I add those two up into an objective that I want to minimize. All right, so let's uh, create this model. I have a Jupyter Notebook for you to follow along with. Uh, thanks to Legrand Gunnell for generating this notebook. Okay, and if you'd like to go to the website, I'll include this link right here in the video description and it'll take you to the github repository where you can see the get the jupyter notebook as well as the google colab link if you want to just run this in your browser without having to install anything i've also downloaded it here and i'll just go through this together with you Okay, so the very first thing we'll need to do is import some packages, NumPy, matplotlib, pandas, and then sklearn Gaussian process as GP. We'll get our, our squared score, okay? And then train test split. And then we'll also import our gecko package. And if we don't have that, then we'll install it. So let's go ahead and just run this one and we will import our packages. 
Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is generate some data. Some warnings here. Looks like the TensorFlow package has an incompatibility. It's just a, a warning there. Everything should work well. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and just generate our source. And here's our correlation, numpy, uh, the cosine function of 2 times pi times x. All right, now we have 150 data points. I'm going to give them uh, slightly in different regions, 0 to 0 0.3, 0 0.32 to 4, and 0.42 to 1.2. I'll have different amounts of data in those different regions. I'll concatenate those together. Let me generate a random seed. Okay, and then here's the uh, distribution that I'm going to draw from with the 15, 40, and 45 points. And then put those together in my noise noise uh, noise term, okay. And then take this original function right here, and then add the noise to it, okay. And generate a figure, okay. And when I do this, here's my data. And you should, with this seed value there, get exactly the same data that I have. You can also change that seed value here. All right, so let's go ahead and split this into training and test sets. I have 150 data points. I'm going to create my features and label. Features are going to be the input to the prediction. Okay, and then the label is the output. And I'll have a test size of 20%. Okay, so I've generated that train test split. Now I want to generate a Gaussian process regression uh, model. I'm going to do uh, radial basis function uh, times a constant kernel times a white plus a white kernel. Okay, create my GPR model and just with a couple options there. And then I'll fit, you know, it's a non parametric model, so it just stores the data and generates those predictions based on the data, similar to like a K nearest neighbors. Okay, and then I have my score and I'll get my R squared value for that fit. All right, so once that's done, let's go ahead and visualize the model. I'll create my prediction, and then I'm going to look at uh, a two-sided 90% 90 confidence interval. All right, and then plot that. All right, if you don't want to save um, a PNG file, just go ahead and eliminate that, and it'll generate this. Okay, so you can see the uncertainty region here, and also the data as well as the expected value. That's our trained GPR model. You can see in regions where there's more data, it's more close, it's closer to the actual function. Okay, so the uncertainty is a little bit lower in that region. Now let's go ahead and use this model with Gecko package to perform optimization. We're gonna create a new Gecko model, remote faults to solve locally. Here I have my first variable. Okay, lower bound between 0 and 1. All right, and then I have my Gecko GPR, and I'll create a prediction. Okay, and I'll return standard deviation. That is true. So I'll get my standard deviation as a variable and uncertainty as well as the expected value. And then I'll minimize in this case. I'm just going to minimize the expected value. And I'll solve it, and then I'll print my solution and x value and also the solve time. Okay, and if I do this, I'll see the expected value. Okay, the minimized one is 0.5. So right about right here is the minimized value of my dashed line. You can see that I clipped this between 0 and 1, so I avoid this minimum to the right side of this. The, maybe the false minimum. It could get stuck there with a local solver. All right, so instead now let's go ahead and minimize uncertainty. So we want to minimize this value instead. So I'll create a new model. Same thing, I'll minimize the y standard deviation, okay, the uncertainty, and solve it. And print out and save these values. Okay, and you can see it's going to solve in about the same time, and you can see a slightly different solution, 0.36. So 
We want to visualize that. So we're going to do a multi-objective optimization problem now. It's going to be a weighted sum of the two. So I'm going to have my expected value as well as my uncertainty. And my uncertainty, I'm going to put a weighting on there of 50. So I've got to combine these into a single objective function. I'll solve it. And here are my optimal values. So I did something in the middle of those. Let's go ahead and visualize this. I'm going to create my predictions. Okay, here's my uh, T value. Here's my plots. And then I'll show this. Okay, so here is the uncertainty down below. You can see the black dot. This is the GPR uncertainty that's minimized. And then in the upper plot, you can see the red square is the GPR model that's minimized. And then the black circle, GPR uncertainty that's minimized. And then the combined optimization where it's a weighted sum of the two, it finds something between those. So it gives us a more certain answer but uh, also something that's close to the minimum value of the expected. Okay, so uh, it's just a weighted sum of those two. Okay, so I'm just gonna come back here. Uh, this, all this code is here in, in blocks. You can use this or the Jupyter Notebook to be able to generate these. Also, thanks to Legrand Gunnel for generating the machine learning package within Gecko to be able to import uh, TensorFlow, sklearn, other models into Gecko for optimization. And there's some additional documentation here from uh, Gecko Read the Docs.